My second is a short reference to the Book of Remembrance. The need for a roll of honour, later to become the Book of Remembrance, was probably conceived in my mind during a visit to Coltish Hall on the occasion of the squadron's 80th birthday. Naively seeking the whereabouts of a roll of honour, commemorating those from number six who had died in World War II, I was somewhat surprised and dismayed to be told that no such role existed. Some considerable time later, I was musing on this shortcoming when I realised that if I did not do something about this, there may never be any such commemoration. My niece is a librarian and amateur genealogist, and at my request provided me with a list of useful titles, together with the addresses of various records agencies. It was either coincidental or even providential that a young man by the name of Philip Millward telephoned to say that Fred Vest, an armourer from those early days, had referred him to me in the hope that I could answer his queries reference the wartime days his father George had spent with number six. We talked at length, and when I mentioned the project I was about to embark upon, he immediately offered to help. I will cut the details short. The first document was supplied by the Commonwealth War Graves Commission in response to a request from Phil for the names of all those from Number 6 Squadron who had died in World War II. The tome was 15 to 20 pages of names from every number 6 squadron and other number 6 units in the whole of the Commonwealth, covering the European, Middle Eastern and Far Eastern theatres of operations. It took me weeks to separate the likely from the unlikely names, and a further 12 months research of this and other sources to reach our conclusions for a World War II role of honour for number 6 squadron. My failure to secure the services of a calligrapher, whom I had hoped would produce the role of honour as a parchment, encased in a glazed wooden frame, together with the lack of interest by the local printers in short order production, led me to seek the assistance of Ken Hopper, editor of the Squadron Association newsletter. Phil and I presented our versions from which Ken eventually produced a highly satisfactory draft and I requested that he, as a committee member, offer to the chairman, Group Captain Alistair Christie, for his approval. The reply came as a surprise. Why had I ignored all those who had perished from January 1914, being the date number six was formed, at the expense of World War II. He was right, and Phil and I resumed our labours. World War records were relatively well ordered and only gave us minor headaches. Between the Wars was a very different story. Records were poor, scanty and with many errors. It was a difficult period and I am certain there are still some names from those days yet to be recovered. World War II we had already completed and by post World War II the collective experience we had gained made this phase much easier. The last mile is most certainly the longest mile. Phil and I had discussed the possibility of error from making a wrong call on some difficult evidence, that somebody would query a missing name and that publication would undoubtedly draw even more comment. I decided it was time to close our researching. It had become obvious from the number of names gathered that the role of honour would now have to be a book of remembrance. Once again I called upon Ken Hopper who, 
with his usual good patience, translated our drafts into excellent book form. And in recognition of his enthusiasm, I asked him to take on board the printing of the book. Overall, the project took two years and seven months to complete. Copies have been presented to number six RAF Squadron, number six RAF Squadron Association, to the Rare RAF Museum at Hendon, and to the Air Crew Association. I would like to record my thanks to Phil Millwood for his unyielding assiduity, and to Ken Hopper for his patience, skills and cooperation in the presenting and publishing of the book. As a footnote, I would add that the Book of Remembrance to date contains 161 names of men buried or recorded in 56 cemeteries and four memorials throughout 14 different countries. It is not only a legacy to the widespread involvement of number 6 RAF Squadron, but also illustrates the price they were called upon to pay. Thank you.